Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Behind me is the new Kia Sorento in Barcelona Auto Show. So in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth tour of the new Sorento. Without further ado, let's just jump into the review. We're here at the Barcelona Car Show and here's a first look of Sorento. Uh, really interesting package. Uh, I was supposed to review one before summer, but I uh, went to the vacation, so here it is. Even in better conditions, more better lights. Uh, new Kia Sorento, so bold design. I like the Kia. Sorrento it looks just I don't know it looks a little bit Americanish but uh, it just looks strong not too beefy not too flashy but just stylish I just I don't know is it me or is this car so good looking so the datum uh, running lights nice signature minimal design but kind of fresh and Nice ground clearance as well for an SUV. I like the lines, I like the curves on the top. I like the grille, it's just really appealing car and look at this gorgeous three lenses for the LED headlights. Nice signature on the road. Matte, chrome, beautiful, gorgeous blue color. And then, then this black grille, black finish, but interesting details and then the new Kia badge, kind of clean, nice, minimalist design, it looks premium. Air, air intake on the bottom, you have two fog lights as well, parking sensors, and then a little diffuser protection. Again, this a little bit different color, but following the design at the top, air cooling on the sides. Again, nothing too flashy, just the looks of this car, it's tall, it's strong. I don't know, I, I'm just in love with this design. Now, these are 235-55 R19 inch wheels. Nice cut, diamond cut design. And then look at this, we have a nice protection going on the bottom as well, a little chrome. Nothing too flashy, but just a little elegancy. Nice big mirror with the turn signal in the mirror. And chrome, nice slim roof racks going all the way. Look at that line. Lane assist camera, light and rain sensor. There's the VIN number. So we're gonna come back inside. Look at this also dual tongue finished so actually it's not a dual tone excuse me this is a top a different element you can unlock the here from the driver side so nice and tall windows Kia signature from the pro seed if you remember by the way there's a new pro seed over there there's gonna be separated videos so net make sure to subscribe and click the bell to not get notified when I upload those videos and looking nice and looking strong I gotta say, from this angle, it kind of reminds me of one of the Ford SUVs that uh, American police are using, but it doesn't matter. Still, I like the design language, it just feels strong. What do you think? Type in the comments below. And then, this vertical lights, gorgeous elements inside, nothing too flashy or super well designed like Audi, like the small details, but still good looking in my opinion. But then you do have some fake tips. They still look good. LED reverse light, fog light perhaps. And you can see the pipe on the right there. Looking good. And then Sorrento and Kia. So we have LED license plate white. Uh, in the center, back in camera one, uh, 80 degrees fisheye lens. And then we have a nice spoiler on the top integrated stoplight. So you open it on the bottom below the E. And it's not electronic, but I'm sure you can spec one up. We have some table here, it was a catering before. So just to show you, opens fairly tall and then loads of space, look at this. That's just massive. So close it up here, nothing on the top special, but a massive tall wide entrance flat bottom so you can sit here and then if you're camping you're covered so two meter tall or 6.6 .6 tall person ideal for camping 
so there's obviously a shutter you can put here so here and here it's currently not in the car obviously two tether points all the plastic you're not sure why i guess you can put that one also here then you have a seat belt holder there quite practical space here cup holders 12 volt outlet second row you can knock them down so look at this this is flat front seats knock down 60 40 and then you have two so this is a seven seater have some space over here loads of it a little on the side as well also tether points seat belt and then i guess you can spec a speakers and look at this usb a for fast charging ac vent again the same layout on the other side and another usb here if i forgot then a rear ac you can turn it on or off how cool is that and then uh, on the top not to forget you have a led light and let's pull these up so you can see how it looks space so this is for the kids obviously but uh, once you pull it it starts extending and then it pulls it up so that's how it looks so you can use that button let's oh so you can lower that one i guess just pull and then you can knock it down so you can see how that looks i'm gonna leave this one upwards to show it to you from the rear view when the seat is down so I guess uh, yeah so this is electronic to unlock and then you can press wow look at that so it just slides and you can go inside so again you would have to pull this one but you can understand the concept and then just slide it back So you can use this to tilt the seat as well. You can see this was an upright position that is lean. Let's come to the other side. Good opening and closing sound. Maybe they can work on those door handles. Just put some rubber here and that will sound a lot better. So looking at the seals, double sealing. Should be have a good soundproof. You can, I guess, uh, turn this to lock the rear for the kids. Doors go all the way down, so if you're washing a car, that's perfect. So checking the doors. Wow, this is actually soft. Nice 3D pattern, nice and big. This is covered with leather as well, but hard plastic. Nice and soft. This is sturdy, robust high quality finish, rubber inside, adjustable cup holder, power windows, rubber mat there, maybe they could have added something here, a nice speaker, Sorento, I've explained this, there's also a seatbelt holder over here as well, there's a little ear here so it doesn't go all the way down and you can tuck it in there, let's sit inside, whoa, loads of space, for the feet and my knees and have in mind I haven't sat on the front yet but loads of space wow so spacious that's why I say this feels American Americans like big SUVs a lot of space gorgeous and really nice finish on the AC vent there so let me just share some light inside smash the thumbs up for the detail effort full volt outlet and USB A white illumination have this in the, the net as well good closing sound soundproof seems also very good i like the fact you have this big bulky bulky handles nice long and tall windows this one in the c pillar uh, again the shade is missing you see the rear they're very spacious and we have here a armrest with cup holders rubber mat over there and then you can turn on white led physical buttons 
you can grab there, drive it so it doesn't have it. Uh, grocery hooks. And then two meter tall, 6.6 .6 again. Wow, I can sleep in here, I can relax because it's super spacious. And what's even the best, you can lean back. Oh, this is good. So that's the good stuff. You can sleep here. It just feel like space-wise, you're in the first class. Let's get on the front and see the details in the front. Look at that gorgeous uh, dash. Uh, I gotta say, he is stepping up their game. I don't know about you, but I like what I see. And checking the front, also soft, nice big handles, just like Americans like it. It's nice, accessible, robust, strong. America F yeah, <laughs> you know the song, a little joke there, but uh, yeah, it seems really good inside here. Uh, wish this would be aluminium, but it's still good. If you're off-roading, who cares? Plastic is better perhaps sometimes. And there's your tire pressure load. Power seats, of course, goes up and down. Whole seat or the front end, tilt, lumbar. Your paddles, looking at the seats, these are cloth. Better for summer, less sweating on the leather, but of course you can pick leather. You look comfy, decent bolsters on the side, a little shallower on the bottom. But then for larger people, might be the actually good thing. And here we have a traction off, I guess adjustment for the headlights, which are LED again. And then you can adjust the steering column manually sit inside well look at this have loads of space okay let me check here if i go a little bit front there's even more space behind me now good closing sound and switching to wide lens wow this is it big mirrors good overview around you nice big round steering wheel really nice and soft leather to the touch i like the dash digital cockpit navigation uh, nice and long and then here still physical buttons with some touch buttons we'll check those details zooming back in so smash the thumbs up for the effort and for kia i gotta say big thumbs up for their um, engineers and designers look at this smooth leather it's wow just really impressed and then again i think this looks just like more clean and minimalist physical buttons that would be like a little bit of piano black but not that horrible i guess new stocks for the lights and turn signals wipers now this is interesting it really looks high quality finish so closed open and then you can adjust and there's even a little one on the bottom air blowing here Look at those on the mirrors, like fins, speaker there, soft, nice big speaker, so leather, and then really, it is plastic, but just the 3D element looks so elegant. This is soft as well, and then hard plastic on the bottom, when I'm at it, slowly opening, uh, fairly spacious, and look at this nice suede, there's a warm light inside. Just to come back, not to forget, so digital cockpit. So let's press here and then you can see that. So, hmm, a lot of options. It's quite nice. So it's a plug in hybrid, I guess. And over here, so looking good, modes. Okay, never mind. Gonna come back to this. So this piano black, not my best, uh, or not my favorite, but uh, it looks good when it's new. So we have here touch buttons. Not a huge fan, but okay. They left physical knobs. It's really quiet, but you can feel those little um, transitions. And then new theme. By the way, you can check the new Kia Seed and Pro Seed on my channel as well. And the Kia EV6 and the new 
uh, models. So I guess this is on German, perhaps, um, or Spanish. We're, we're in Spain and Barcelona, if I forgot to mention. And kind of basic, I'm not going to go into this in depth, but I like the new um, layout of or the colors. Uh, going down, there's a lot of Asian symbols here. I'm not going to try guessing which one. And there's some English as well. But nice physical dials, easy to hit. Then, okay, touch buttons, not a huge fan. But again, physical for what's important. Evans, all four sides. It's kind of American, it's just wide and a lot of stuff going on there. So, oh, look at this. So it seems there's a cover here, but it's matte black. It's not. So I wish they used this on the top. That'd be a lot better. My opinion. Say if you agree, type in the comments below. USB A for fast charging, regular, and so two for fast charging and a regular three of them. Nice ooh, rubber mat here for the phone or area there as well. Close this up. And then I like this. It doesn't have to be here. It doesn't have to be big. Just a nice dial, reverse neutral drive, press the park. Nice finish on the Sorento. And then driving modes. You see here a sport. Smart and Eco. So really nice design, just very simple and intuitive. Auto hold, parking camera, uh, the graphics could be better, 21st century. Electronic parking hold, electron, excuse me, electronic parking hold, parking brake downhill assist and parking sensors <clears throat> little area here rubber mat here adjustable cup holders cubby here so that's nice and then massive space and a little carpet on the bottom misa oh look at this you have also here you can put a paper or some sort of document holder it's quite nice and this is nice and soft doesn't extend unfortunately so the seat design is quite comfy so two meter tall 6.6 .6, plenty of space this is probably the tallest car i've ever been to this just has loads of space um yeah so i think we covered all so i have reviewed a lot of cars today so excuse me if i miss something led lights on the top passenger airbag so ran out of storage there uh nice overview on the rear uh lights on the top led passenger airbag emergency Call here, and then you have a nice big privacy mirror. Light that's still warm should have been a white LED, but the moment of truth. Let's see if it extends, and I think it does. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. So, oh, yeah, it extends and covers the whole thing. That's good. Smash the thumbs up for Kia. Wow, good. Love it. Okay, let's get out and let's check the front bonnet. Gotta say, Sorrento is looking really dope. So in the middle, push it to the left. Even has dampers. Huh. So there we go. It's a hybrid. Smart Stream G. There's your washer fluid for the user. This is the uh, uh, electric motor power system. So nice insulation. And let's just drop it. Closes perfectly. So. Just love this car let's check it out to the spec so this is in spanish again we're in barcelona all car show sorrento hev hybrid electric vehicle 1.6 tgda drive 4 2 so i guess it could switch between uh, front and all-wheel drive or rear and all-wheel drive uh, and we have some exterior interior specs here uh, for my spanish audience in this case so uh, this is the final price, 40,000 euros. And I guess this is the base price for the model. So this one maybe doesn't have a lot of options. So this means there's a lot of standard stuff. So I like what I see. Again, very nice spec for 40,000 euros. You can get a really nice SUV. Of course, there's probably more specs. Look at this just design, this line. It's just, I don't know. I really like 
like it. I really think it's appealing. Tell me in the comments what do you think. And I just want to see the lights and the hazards. And let's turn these on just for a moment. Wow, looking good. So the daytime running lights turn into turn signals. They're not dynamic, but still looking good. And I like these three lenses. They look matrix, I'm pretty not sure if they are, but it looks super good. And then the rear turns into a turn signal. So again, just good looking. So everyone tell me in the comments below, how do you like the new Sorento? I think I've expressed my opinions. Can't wait to test one though. Uh, if you want to see more, more from Kia or other videos, subscribe, click the bell to get notified. I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay safe. So once again, thank you for watching. Type your comments below. Really like the car and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.